Hey there, and welcome back. I'm Alex Lyon, and in this video, we're going to talk about how we live and work in groups and teams. And we are working out of BB and Masterson's book called Communicating in Small Groups. At the beginning of chapter one, they give some statistics that shock some people. That is that 81% of large companies, for example, use teams. That means if you go to work at any kind of larger company, and even mid-sized companies, it's very likely that you'll be working in groups and teams as a norm, as a daily kind of activity. It doesn't mean you're going to spend every moment in a group, but you will be constantly coordinating your work and activities with other people on those projects. In addition, 77% of organizations use teams and groups for new projects. So as new work comes along, you're going to be joining other teams in your organization to get that done. You're basically going to be working in groups and teams more as you go on. Managers spend 25% of their time in groups and meetings. And that is a quarter of any given day. So let's say eight hour day, that's a couple hours a day that they're spending in group meetings. So that's a lot of time. That doesn't count individual one-on-one -on -one conversations. That's a group or team meeting. And as you go higher in an organization, it gets even more intense. For example, executives spend 66% of their time in meetings or preparing for meetings. So this is a constant pressure on executives. The higher you go, the more time you spend around people. I know somebody who was telling me she, she was a the highest level in human resources, highest level executive in the company. And she said, she said, basically, I get there and I have about a half hour to myself at the beginning of the day. And then I am in meetings wall to wall almost every single day. She has almost zero time on her own. The only time she gets on her own is if she comes in a little extra early or stays a little late. So the higher you go, the more time you're going to spend in a group situation. And now, of course, with more and more use of Zoom and other kinds of online, online technologies, you're going to be spending even more time, even if you're working from home, interacting with other people at the same time in groups. There's something that you may have experienced because of this, perhaps, called group hate. And that is where people have a feeling of dread and repulsion that a lot of people have about working in groups, teams, and attending meetings. I know I'm guilty of that. I don't love every single meeting that I'm ever invited to and go to, but uh, that's called group hate. Now, there is some good news about group hate, and that is you tend to enjoy meetings, if we could use that word, more over time. People actually start to like working with their team members, and that usually comes with training, with instruction, with experience. So even in a class like this, now typically where we're all meeting in person the whole time, when I say there's going to be a group project, you know, students roll their eyes and I can't believe I, oh, another group project. Oh, it's like this feeling of dread. But then as the teacher coaches you how to be better in groups, as you develop skills, you tend to not worry about it so much. You tend to say, you know what, I know how to, I know what I'm doing here. So the more prepared you are, the more skilled you feel, and the more you're getting along with people, that group hate does tend to diminish over time. So question of the day, how do you feel about all this, working in groups more and more these days? And also, where are you on this group hate scale? Do you really dread working in groups, or are you starting to get used to it over time? I would love to hear your comments in that section below the video. So I'll see you soon.